talking about dinosaurs. I'm going to teach you a few things, but the chances are you guys know more than I know about dinosaurs. Dilip has no idea how right he is. This is Harry, a dinosaur expert. T-Rexes have jaws as weapons. Yeah. And Stegosaurus has spikes as weapons. Are they alive now, do you think, Harry? They're extinct. They're extinct, okay. So if they're not alive today, how do we know much about dinosaurs? Because they're fossils yeah, by sure. looking at their skeletons. By looking at their skeletons, which are preserved as fossils. Okay, and guess what? You guys get to make a copy of one today. And I call these copies casts. Now our paleontologists use water and plaster to create casts of dinosaur claws and teeth. Don't stop stirring because once you stop, it's going to set and you don't want to have a cup-shaped fossil, do you? Yours is ready. I think we'll go for a claw. You go for a claw? You want to tip it in there? You like a tooth? You can tip it in there. You're doing a good job there, Kai. Well done. The casts will take a little while to set, so in the meantime, it's time to learn about some real fossils and bones. Over here, I've got a skull of an animal. And what do you think it would be? Yeah. A goat. A goat. What do you think goats eat? Grass. Grass and leaves. So eat plants. Okay, sometimes, they don't really eat meat. Sometimes, sometimes they like eating paper. Oh, yeah, goats. <laughs> Plant-eating animals have flat teeth. Meat-eating animals have very sharp teeth. And it tells you something. When we find a dinosaur with flat teeth, what does it eat, do you think? Plants. Yeah. If you find a dinosaur with sharp teeth, what do you think it eats? Meat. Meat. So what do we eat? Both. Both. We eat both. That's and why we I have both types what, of teeth. And I know what you call that. Omnivores. Call? Omnivores. Brilliant. Well done. Uh, Harry, you want to talk to us about it? What do you think this is? It's a Therizinosaurus claw. Yes, it is. Now, Therizinosaurus, uh, when you look at it, what do you think it ate? Plants. It ate plants. Now, this one here, on the other hand, that is a claw of a baryonyx. A baryonyx is a type of spinosaurus, but smaller. Yeah. But it what do you think it ate? Plus meat. 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 Yeah, it ate meat. Over here, we've got this big tooth, but only this much of the tooth was sticking out of the T Rex's mouth. The rest of it was in its gum and in its jaw. Because a T Rex had tiny arms, it only had arms like that. Could it catch its prey? Yes. No. So what did it need to use to catch its prey? Its mouth. Its mouth. Then it was time for our junior paleontologists to extract their very own fossils. For that, I'm going to give you a little mallet and a little chisel, OK, for you to break the rock. It takes effort, so you've got to really put some strength behind it. After extracting the fossils from their rocks, our experts go about identifying the dinosaurs. I think I've got a parasol open. You having trouble? How are you guys going? Triceratops. Triceratops, well done. The one that starts with N. Yep, the Nigerosaurus. Yes. Which one do you think it is? That one. That one, you got the Velociraptor, well done. Oh, perfect, good job. You show me the white one, the cast that you made, and show me the fossil you found. You get to take these two home, okay? Now, did you all have fun today? Yeah. Yeah? Did you all learn something new today? I learned about all the different features with dinosaurs and how the fossils are really delicate and you must be very careful and sometimes you can't even hold them with your hand.